America's greatest swimmers are facing off in Omaha tonight for what could be the final time on American soil. Michael Phelps and Ryan Lochte are going head to head at the CenturyLink Center. Fans are eager to see this title fight in the pool, if you will. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Emily Zink has more on the anticipation surrounding tonight's 200 individual medley race at the U.S. Olympic Swim Trials. A first place finish for Michael Phelps in tonight's 200 individual medley race seems to be the consensus among fans, but we'll just have to wait a few hours to see. Uh, it will be fun. What do you expect for the final tonight? Um, I don't know. Uh, Something had caught Ryan Lochte's attention. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be a good race. Lochte took his eye off the interview to zero in on the competition. Michael Phelps was swimming. You know, being able to race against Michael. It's definitely an honor. The 31 year olds may just have the greatest rivalry in the sport of swimming. It's going to be close, but I think Phelps is going to come through. On Friday night, the two will line up in adjacent lanes and race for what is probably the final time on American soil as they compete in the 200 individual medley finals at the U.S. Olympic swim trials. Just a neat experience. We wanted to come see Michael Phelps swim for probably the last time. Phelps is adamant that he will be competing in his fifth and final Olympic Games. Lochte, on the other hand, hasn't said one way or another. Are you guys fans of Brian Lochte? He's swimming too. Oh, yeah, his autograph's right there. Fans were pumped for Friday's finals matchup featuring the two. Olympians. Many had a favorite to place first. Well, obviously, I'm going to pick Phelps. I hope that's the way it goes, but I like I respect them both completely. I think Phelps might get it, but I'm rooting for Ryan, so we'll see. May the fastest man win. Yeah. <laughs> both Ryan Lochte and Michael Phelps are racing in two finals events tonight. At the CenturyLink Center, Emily Zink, KMTV Action 3 News.